Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to cover how to make prosthetics at home. All you're going to need is a life cast, some clay, and some latex, and possibly some sculpting tools. So this is an easy way to make prosthetics at home. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial started, and thanks for watching. As I mentioned, you're going to want a live cast, and the live cast is basically a replication of your face. You don't have to have that. If you don't have a live cast of your face, you can always use a mannequin head and sculpt upon that. Since most faces are pretty similar, you can usually get away with sculpting a prosthetic on a mannequin head as well. And you want to start off by deciding what you're going to sculpt. So I'm going to be making a Zom Bunny, and that's going to consist of a muzzle and a bottom lip prosthetic. So here I'm just laying down some clay in the general area where I want the muzzle to be on my top lip. I like to build up my sculptures a little bit at a time, so you'll see me putting little chunks of clay on there and adding as I go. It's a lot easier to do that, I think, to find the form that you're looking for than adding this big chunk of clay. And the clay that I'm using is Chavant. It's an oil-based clay, which means it does not dry, which is very handy when you're making prosthetics. This clay is on the harder side, so you're probably going to want to pick up some sculpting tools. They do sell sculpting kits, for example, on Amazon. I think eBay has some really good deals on them. And if you get a 50% off coupon at like Michael's, you can get a really good deal on the sets. And at this point, I'm just further refining my bunny muzzle. I'm just, you know, refining that form, making it as bunny-esque as I possibly can. And also at this stage, I'm starting to focus a little bit on the edges, making sure I'm whittling away the excess clay. If any of you have ever applied a prosthetic, you know the edges of the prosthetic need to be paper thin, because if they're not, they're gonna show. Wherever that Chavant clay meets the live cast, that edge needs to be thin as possible. Another great technique for working with this clay is to use 99% alcohol. It does dissolve Chivant slightly, so if you apply it to the surface of the clay, it's going to give you a really smooth out texture, which is really nice. And it's also going to really, really smooth out your edges, which is what you're going for with a prosthetic. Once I was pretty happy with that bunny muzzle on the top lip, I went ahead and built the prosthetic on the bottom lip. And the one I was going for for this is the very exposed teeth zombie type of mouth. So um, I just built up the clay the same way that I built up the top one. But for this one, I decided to use some fake fingernails to create sockets for the teeth. And I just sculpted the clay around those. So basically I just lined the fake nails up into a row and built the clay up to meet the nails. After one last smoothing out session with the 99% alcohol, I started to stipple latex onto the clay. And what you want to do is use a sponge to stipple very thin layers of latex on top of your sculpture. And you want to make sure you stay away from the edge. Don't stipple too many layers of latex on the edge, otherwise you're going to lose that really thin edge that we were going for all along. And I stippled about five to seven very thin layers of the liquid latex onto the sculpture to give the prosthetic the density that it needed to stand up. After the latex is dry, you want to go ahead and brush some powder over top. Any kind of powder will do, baby powder, translucent powder, face powder, whatever you have. And then you want to slowly peel the latex off of the sculpture. And you want to take a brush with powder on it and place it underneath between the clay and the latex so the latex doesn't stick to itself and ruin your edges. Now I got really clean edges on this, very thin edges for both of my pieces. So it was very, very worthwhile to take my time and make sure that latex was stippled on very thinly. I also did a little bit of a cotton buildup, cotton and liquid latex inside the actual prosthetic. I find that if you don't do that, the prosthetic's gonna collapse on itself. So if you give it a little density, it's gonna stand up. All right, my darlings, that's gonna wrap up this how to make prosthetics video. This is a really easy, fast way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up 
and join me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and share any of your prosthetics that you're going to make. Otherwise, thanks again, guys, for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.